Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. I'm here in my kitchen again, just about to head to the grocery store and I thought I'd do a healthy grocery haul with you guys and take you to the grocery shop with me. So yeah, basically I'm on a cutting phase, shredding phase at the moment, so focused on fat loss. So I thought I'd run through all the foods that I buy in a week and show you guys the meals that I prep usually and yeah, just do a little mini healthy grocery haul. So, before we jump into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and let's get straight on into it. Blueberries, raspberries, look at our berries. Yeah, yeah. These are also a real yummy snack. Kiwi berries. Okay. Melon. <laughs> so I have bananas in my smoothies every day. So these are good. Yeah. This is why I love barrows. They've got all of like the salad options. Should we just get one of these salads, Jeff? If that one's nice, just get the Asian chop mix one. Yeah. That's gonna be in our salad tonight. I always get fresh coriander as well. about twice a week. I love fish. I could literally go piss the period, I reckon. Ooh. Now, what other meats are we going to get? Um, some beef. Get some beef, we get some red meat. We usually have red meat about once or twice a week and then chicken. Let's go. Period. Yeah? Yeah. And over here, it's a beef. Yep. What are you looking at? It's supposed to be a healthy food shop. Cookie dough. <laughs> it's no to the cookie dough. It's triple chocolate cookie dough. No, you don't need it. It's too bad. <laughs> it's meant to be a healthy grocery shop, but no. Nah, oh, we do have got this. That's good. Let's try those. Coconut juices. You have to get some sweet stuff, otherwise you end up binging on bad stuff. Yeah. And of course we've got to get ice cream. Let's get this one. Oat milk ice cream. I've never heard of it before. Have you? No. Let's give it a try, eh? Peanut butter chip ice cream. Show the camera. Let's give that a whirl. Have we? Yeah. What's that good for, anyway? What do we put it's it in? Just, we this just is... mix it with stuff. Yes, yeah, really good for the gut. You want to get some quinoa? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Sounds good. Blueberry and pear. I don't know that it's pretty good with blueberry and Yep. Alright, and now. I think we're done now, right? No. Nah. Baby, you know what we've missed out on? What? Chocolate. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's get some chocolates. <laughs> to finish the healthy grocery haul, <laughs> with some chocolate. Alright, get some kombucha, baby. Let's go. Look at this one. Kiffy lime, mandarin. Peanut butter? Chocolate almond butter. No, just get normal peanut butter, babe. This is almond butter. We've never tried this before. We haven't tried this one. Alright, we're trying it. Chocolate hazelnut butter. That can be my pre workout snack on this and some rice thins with some bananas. That would be so good. Okay. <laughs> with some chia seeds on top. Oh, we need some almond milk. Why is it really? Almond milk? Yeah. The. This one. Why that one? It's got um, less crap in it than okay. the other one. Okay, this is my favourite chocolate. Sour cherry and vanilla. So good, but look at the bloody price. <laughs> it's $8 for this. Is it worth it? No. <laughs> is it worth it? It's the question. Okay, let's look, at it. Let's look for another one. Right. Yeah. You were, baby, you were so 
so awkward in there. Oh, I know, but I'm sorry. Jaren, okay. Baby, so, I'm sorry, baby. In this vlog, <laughs> I wanted Jaren to record me talking, but he got so embarrassed whenever someone came and he like hit the camera down. <laughs> I just feel like I'm gonna get told off or something. <laughs> so, yeah. I will chat to you guys about the grocery haul when we get home. <laughs> Snickers bar. Wait, wait, grab the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got a raw Snickers bar as our treat on our way home. Nice. Yum. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, here we have it. Our healthy grocery haul. So I'll go through bit by bit. Loads of fruit here, you'll see. Fruit is not the enemy. I know lots of people think that when you're trying to lose weight, fruit's bad, but it's good for you. Um, kiwi berries. I love kiwi berries. I've already eaten a couple. I wonder why the packet was going down. I shut in the packet. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we got ripped off. <laughs> okay, mangoes. This is Jaren's favorite fruit. Look at how, I feel like we just mainly got fruit today. Jeez. Oh, and then, and Jaren's obviously gotten into this one as well. <laughs> Little raw chocolate snack. Had to get a snack before we left the supermarket. That leads me to one tip actually when you go um, healthy grocery shopping, I'd recommend. Don't go hungry. Don't go hungry, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Otherwise you do what Jaren does and you just buy everything in the store and then you come home with a whole bunch of bad foods. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we've got some kombucha in the fridge as well. Oh yeah, and that kombucha, that was really nice. Mandarin yep. flavor. I'll show you guys what one we got actually. So yeah, this is just the kombucha that we got, which we don't drink much kombucha, but it's good to have like something a little bit sweet, especially when you're lowering your calories when you're in a weight loss phase. It's good to just have something that can like satisfy that sweet tooth to keep you satisfied until your next meal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down all of the grocery haul items into sort of meals to show you kind of what a week of my eating kind of looks like. So I'll start with um, breakfast. So typically in the morning for breakfast I'd have a protein smoothie, so I'd have protein powder with banana almond milk and it'd either go for the super shake with some blueberries, raspberries added in there or I'd go for a more chocolatey flavoured one, so I'd add in some raw cacao powder and probably some peanut butter as well. So that's typically my breakfast. And then I'm actually a huge snacker so I love to have snacks throughout the day. So. I'll always have a snack between breakfast and lunch, so usually it will be a piece of fruit or something. So usually go for some raspberries, blueberries, these kiwi berries are good, or just basically grab any piece of fruit from the fruit bowl, maybe a nectarine, just basically any piece of fruit to keep me going through until lunch. Okay, so for lunch I typically do mix it up quite a lot but I'm really enjoying this Mexican style salad at the moment. I've been having it quite a lot, so I'll show you guys sort of how I'm making that one at the moment. It is really, really delicious. So we've got our chicken breast, spinach, cucumber, coriander, quinoa, and organic sweet corn, and I'll flavor up the chicken with Mexican seasoning. Sometimes I'll add in this nice basil and cashew pesto. This is like a vegan pesto and then it's either some sauerkraut or olive oil drizzled over the top but yeah this is like my go-to salad at the moment really really tasty okay now for my afternoon tea snack or my pre-workout meal i typically would have this before i go to the gym um, if i'm doing a morning session i'll have it in the morning before i have any breakfast so i'd have this as my pre-workout meal do my workout come home and have a smoothie or my breakfast or if I'm doing an afternoon session, I'd have this as my afternoon tea and then when I get home, have dinner. So I'll show you what my typical pre-workout meal looks like. 
Okay, so this is a typical pre-workout snack. So I'd usually have about two of these rice cakes with some of this spread on top, or peanut butter is usually what I'd go for. Um, but I always measure this out and I weigh it out on the scales just because any type of nut butter, the calories really do add up um, and the fat content is quite high as well. So I'll weigh that out when I put that on to the rice cakes. Then I'd usually have about half a banana on top and top it off with some chia seeds. And that's typically my pre-workout snack. Okay, now for my dinner option. So this is sort of a quick dinner. So if I'm really busy and I don't have much time, this is like my go-to dinner where I don't have to think too much, don't have to try too hard and it still tastes pretty good. So this is like my go-to at the moment. So it would basically just be salmon with this salad, or I usually make my own, but this is a really good option um, if you don't have much time. Uh, or I also always add in ginger, I'm obsessed with ginger, especially raw ginger. Um, kumara or quinoa, I'd choose one of the two. I really do love kumara, or I'd actually have white rice as well. I do eat white rice quite a lot. Um, and then with the meat, I'll, sw I'll switch it out quite a bit. So I'd have chicken or even, even this whole meal with beef as well would taste good. So yeah, that's usually my go-to dinner when I don't have much time. I do love cooking though and creating my own recipes and really spending time in the kitchen to make up something really tasty and nice. But yeah, a few times a week, I definitely will have something easy and basic like that, which doesn't take much time. Okay, so that's dinner. Um, after dinner, I will always mostly have a snack. Like I said, I'm a major snack person. <laughs> so, I'm not much of a dessert person apart from chocolate. I freaking love chocolate. Um, who doesn't? <laughs> um, but yeah, I usually will have a snack in the evening time as well. Especially if you are in like a weight loss phase and trying to lose fat, you do tend to get those cravings at night time. Yeah, especially if you're relaxing at the end of the night watching TV, just sitting there bored, you tend to think about food a lot more. So I like to make sure that I have healthier snack options in the house, just for when I do get to moments like that where I do feel like having something to eat and I don't, don't just go all out and eat rubbish. I know that I've got some lower calorie snack options. So I will show you what I have for my evening snacks. Okay, so I've just got these juices here which are low calorie, they are 100% natural, no added sugar, and they taste really good. So this is a good sort of option, low calorie option. My second snack option is just this coconut yogurt here, which tastes really good. This is blueberry and chia coconut yogurt. Um, and then I'll have that with some berries on top. So I love raspberries. This combo together is delicious. And then, like I said before, popcorn. I'd usually go for just standard popcorn. This one is a bit more higher in calories and higher in sugar because it's got dark chocolate, but it tastes freaking good. But yeah, if you are looking for a lower calorie snack, I would probably opt for just the regular salted popcorn with like as light butter or no butter if you can. Yeah, those are my three sort of evening go-to snack options. Okay guys, I'm just going to wrap up this healthy grocery haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe got a few tips on how to stay on track and pick some healthier options. Maybe next time you go food shopping. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.